This is Math 98, practice test two, problems 17 and 18. And uh, we're supposed to simplify. And when we simplify these complex numbers, we, we can't leave an I in the denominator, just like with radicals. It's just not the form we do. That's how we deal with division with these. So in order to get this I out of the denominator, I'm going to multiply by 1. I'm going to multiply by that version of 1. Because notice what it does up top, I have 3 times I, 3I. In the bottom, I have 2 times i times i, 2i squared. But we know what i squared is. i squared is negative 1. Remember, i is the square root of negative 1. So if I square that, doop, doop, it's negative 1. So this is 3i over 2 times negative 1, which is 3i over negative 2, which is the same as negative 3i over 2. A positive divided by a negative is negative. Next one, uh, very similar, except it's different. And in the sense that we still need to get that i out of the denominator, but um, we can't just multiply by i, it won't get rid of it. So what we're going to use is the conjugate of this. This is 2 minus 3i. I'm going to use 2 plus 3i. And uh, notice I'm multiplying by 1. And so when I do that, on the bottom, I have 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3i is 12i. In the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 3i times negative 3i. I, I'm sorry, times positive 3i. So negative 3i times 3i is negative 9i squared. But i squared is negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. So I'm going to have 4 plus 9, which is 13 in the denominator.